scam. I will I will answer that though. All right, here we go. This should be an excellent game. Excited. All right, so here is our challenger. This is Dr. Durenton, apparently one of the highest MMR players in the world. And of course, we have Mixu uh, in that top right. Uh, now, Dr. Renton will be playing Legion with the Valkyrie Mercs. And of course, Valkyrie Mercs here again for Mixu. Uh, Idol Conduit going down immediately. And I'm guessing he's just going to go ahead and throw it on the barracks. In fact, double barracks. So a very aggressive opener here for Dr. Drenta, not getting a fast expansion. We have Mara once again coming out here for uh, for Mixu. So kind of cool to see that again. And Galavax first. All right. I like Galavax first with double barracks opener. Makes a lot of sense because you can heal him. And look, once again, Mixu going to set up his buildings. Uh, you know, to hold one of these areas. Now, Galavax taking the other one. And Mixu is immediately going to scout that this is a double barracks opener. Looks like Rhino's going to be on the way. I like it. Dude, going ham on this idle conduit. You can see that, damn, she's just like, she's beefy, huh? Really trying to take this down. Okay, looks like Dr. Renton comes back in time here to very likely say this. Holy shit! <laughs> All right. That's the way you do it. Now, getting on top of this, the turret is about to be made. As you can see, it builds pretty darn quick on top of that supply depot. Uh, but another Galavax fireball coming down. Dude, that's a lot of damage output. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, I don't think he's going to get it. I don't think he's going to get it. I think you're going to lose a Rhino here. Damn, a lot of the advantage that I think uh, Dr. Durenton had gained is actually falling now. Or at least it feels that way to me. Takes out the engineer. Going to take out another engineer, I think. And by the way, Dr. Renton did expand during this, right? There you go. There it is. Really important. So both sides have one, uh, well, two bases each and one of the towers each. Well, I guess this one gets slowed down because you're having fights there. But yeah, I did lose a few units. Mm. Yeah, dude, this is like, I don't think that works. Well, I guess a lot of damage goes down on Amara there. Some commandos jumping forward. The Valkyrie Hounds being purchased here as well. Dude, I tell you, I like those rhinos. This rhino unit, this this is brand new for uh for Legion. I really am a fan. I think it's very cool unit design. Commander. Definitely feels uh like you have more options here. Now that you have a unit like that. Goes over to a Harvester, gets that heal. It is funny. All the Harvesters have an ability. The Grell ones can make uh, the little grass spreading things. Uh, the uh, Legion ones drop mines that do a lot of damage. And the uh, Protector ones heal. Anyways, uh, throws a tower down here while blocking from the high ground. So I think that this attack is almost over already. The Valkyrie Hounds here on the side of Mixu taking a huge amount of damage. Gonna back up now. Okay. So I'm kind of like taking a peek at the production to have here. And, uh, so right now it's just like various thralls coming out, right? Some armored, some regular thralls. We don't really see any higher end tech, but that's okay, right? Like you can focus on just upgrading your heroes a bit more. Looks like we may be, uh, having Galvax come around to try to stall out this, uh, worker. Probably gonna have to recall that. Yeah, he's recalling it right now. So should, oh, I thought he was. My bad. That was the, uh, stun timer. <laughs> Anyways, pulls that all the way back. 
And gonna go ahead and recall his own little army there. Does not want to lose that. Armored Thrall retreating. Just commandos being made for the most part here for Mixu. Now, no third base has been taken. I do wonder when they're kind of planning on doing that. Definitely a lot of harvesters are coming out, trying to get those flux counts up a lot. It's kind of funny how the the economy definitely feels like it balances different in this than most. Most games have like a clear mineral and a clear gas, and this does too. But it feels like people focus so heavily on getting lots of flux. Like flux does a bit more for you than gas in Starcraft, uh, in Starcraft, I guess. I don't know. It feels that way. Anyways, uh, right now we have a dive onto this expansion. Oh, man. That's pretty damn deadly. And the same type of thing happening on the other side. Look at that. Taking... Dude, that is a lot of damage. Takes out the Harvester as well. Okay, well, is he going to be able to actually hold here? Mara taking a huge amount of damage. Oh my god, Mera's gone, right? Oh no, gets the heal over there. I didn't see the Harvester. Sick runaway to get healed by that Harvester. Now, unfortunately, those Valkyrie Hounds are getting killed off. The rest of the army finally makes it back, but the expansion has died for Mixu. Both sides only on one base. Mixu's base a little bit better, as it ha you know, it's the main base, so it has six uh, Hexite fields or whatever they're called compared to just four of the expansion of his opponent. So he does have better mining at the moment. Oh, and he actually did get another base started as well. So uh, Mixu definitely looks to be in charge of this game. Both sides remaking some of their harvesters. Right, a little attack up. There is a tower there, so he's going to back off the tower. Actually dealing a fair amount of damage. Good Kragar shot. So, some Valkyrie Hounds being sent around the map. Oh! Dude, that's cool. Is he sending them to look for harvesters? Oh, he's sending them to take the tower? Oh, okay. I was going to say, that's big brain if he goes up there and finds that that flux harvester. <laughs> How do you know? Oh, my God. Anyways, Mixu going to come down here and just hit one of these Hexite patches. These things aren't strong enough or quick enough to kill off the actual base, but killing a Hexite patch is pretty good. Or I think they're called refineries, but I'm not 100% on that. Okay, in the meantime, look at that. He forces him to react to his uh, dogs there and then comes back and picks off that idle conduit. Very nice. Comes back again with this. Does make the turret on top of his uh, command center thing. All right, we have some gunships coming out. Mara jumps into the center of everything. Not sure if that's going to be a good play. Huge fireball comes out. Oh, a lot of damage on Kragar. Galvax getting really low. Gets popped. Mara somehow staying alive with super, super low health. Dude, so, so low. Backing up now with Kragar. Jump forward there. The tower going to try to uh, hurt him a little bit. Oh, God. We have an Atlas out. First time to see that tonight. Atlas is pretty sick. It's like really flux heavy and it actually has the jump as well and really good damage output. Also have a flame walker in there. So basically that whole army, well, not the whole army, but most of that army can jump and reposition itself really, really quickly. I, I'm actually a big fan of the Atlas. I think it's a very cool unit. Very fun to use. See, it jumps over to the side here, puts a ton of damage out. Commandos in the front there as well. Mara with her shield on. Gets another pick there on Galavax. So sad right now for Dr. Dorrington. Kragar looks like he's going to fall too. Just about nothing left over here. Oh, man. Trying to get out. Oh! <laughs> Just barely escapes. But how are you going to stop this army? And look at that. The Harvester coming over and using its heal. I love these Harvester heal pulls. And then just put it on whatever, because you're, like, winning the battle in the area. Really, really well done by, by Mixu. One of our top two games tonight, I would say. Really excellent game. Not much left here, though, for our Legion player. GG. 
And Mixu's going to take another one home. Wow. Very cool game. Really enjoyed that one. We have, I think, two players left.